We all know surrogacy is complex and that everyone comes at surrogacy from a different point. Everyone has different components to their journey and everyone has different needs moving forward. And I suppose it's your job, both of you, clinically to assess what's right for them. Surrogacy flows all of the time and it's not something that is only available on a Monday. No, absolutely. If you were to look into a clinic and they didn't really have a surrogacy team and it was just kind of their, their usual kind of patient coordinators that dealt with surrogacy, to me, that would be a little bit of a red flag as a starting point. Have a look at the success rates of that clinic, particularly for surrogacy. And yep. although the HFEA doesn't demand that we promote or process those results as yet, it is coming. And if you want to advertise yourself as a surrogacy centre of excellence, then you be, should be promoting your success yeah. rates too, because they're really important to know. The fertility industry is obsessed with statistics. Mm-hmm. They they are obsessed with collecting their own individual success rates. So they have that and data. And they have that information, trust me. A lot of the people that I speak to don't realise how expensive surrogacy can be, depending mm-hmm. on the route that you decide to go down. And, you know, if you don't already have a surrogate and you do need to seek one from an agency, that's an extra expense. So I think that's definitely something for IPs to take into consideration. We're proudly supported and sponsored by Manchester Fertility, one of the top performing fertility clinics in the UK with some of the best success rates in the north of England. My Surrogacy Journey, available wherever you get your podcasts.